All right, so in this video, we're gonna show you how to back up your Factory Talk Site Edition app, HMI applications with a different tool than we've done before. Now, this tool is in something that is brand new as of Factory Talk 10 and is going to be used you know, from Factory Talk 10 and above. So we're gonna actually, in this video, show you how to take Factory Talk 10, back it up, and we're going to then move it to a different VM. I have two separate VMs. We're gonna move it from this VM to this VM and then we're going to actually restore the application. I'm going to show you how easy this tool is to use. Okay, so it's not as complex as the as the old method. It's very simple and very easy to use. However, I will note that this is just for your distributed uh, HMI applications, which is your site edition applications. This is not for the machine edition, so don't try to do this with the Factory Talk machine edition at least up as of now. Um, using Factory Talk 10. We're going to use Factory Talk 10 and Factory Talk 12 in this environment. So, um, and if that's the case, if you're using Machine Edition, please back up the same way you've always backed up your applications. So, I'm going to show you how easy this is. We're going to navigate to your Rockwell software, which is going to be right here. Go to Rockwell software. You're going to go to Factory Talk View folder, and then you're going to go to Tools, and then you're going to go to Distributed Application Manager. We're going to open this up, okay, and we're going to come over here and we're going to create a backup. We're going to go right here, and you can see if we're going to create a backup. You have all your applications that you have in your computer or your at your server or whatever the case may be. You have all those applications right here, right? Now this is the two things that I have in the inside of that application. I have my data server, which is I have my Factory Talk Link server have my HMI server and I can choose to back up the data logs if I want to or not to choose to, to use your backups or, or to back up the data logs if you if you would. So keep in mind too the target location. So the target location on the very bottom it says it's going to be C drive, users, public, documents, RSView, uh, enterprise, SE, archives. Okay you can change that if you want to where the backup is going to be we're going to actually just back it up to the default location. We're going to click backup and let the process back itself up. This is in turn the same process you would use to that we used to use to back up the HMI application. Okay, so now we have the archive built, right? You can view the log and see that it's all there uh, if you want to. Um, we're going to close this up and we're going to close this application, uh, the distributed app application manager. We're going to navigate to our file, okay? Go to C drive. <clears throat> We're going to go to users. We're going to go to public. We're going to go to documents. We're going to go to RS View Enterprise. We're going to go to SE. Then we're going to go to archives. Okay, so this is where our project is. So we now have an archive version. We we have a version we can actually restore. This is actually backed up our HMI application. So at this point, I want to move it from the I'm going to move it from one computer to another computer to show you how easy this would be if we were to actually restore this application on a different computer. Okay, so we're going to copy this. I'm going to move over to my my other build and I'm going to paste this on the desktop. Now, keep in mind I'm going at this point in time it's on my desktop, right? Now, you can place them wherever you want to as long as you point to the correct location when you're restoring. Now I want you to note that I do not have this application on this computer at whatsoever. If you want to see that you can pull up studio right now and we'll see the applications that are currently in this actually in this computer. My uh, view site edition distributed network right our network distributed right here I'm only gonna have three applications. Now, once I act, and I'm doing this just just to show you that there is that application is not on this computer right now. As you see, there's only three applications: Plant Packs, Instant Fizz, and FT View Demo. I'm going to cancel that out because we're not actually going to use that yet. We're going to actually come over here and uh, restore it, right? So we're going to restore that archive that we just made. Okay. So let's go to now again, similar to what you would do, would have done on Factory Talk uh, 10. We're going to go to Rockwell Software. We're going to go to Factory Talk View. We're going to go to Tools. Then we're going to go to what they've changed the name slightly, 
but it's called Factory Talk View SE Application Manager. Okay, so this is again slightly different, but they've changed the name just a little bit. But again, all you're going to do is open this up. You're going to click Distributed Network. And all they did with Factory Talk 12 is allow you the ability to back up more applications than fact than just your distributed network. You can do locals. You can do, as you've seen right there, you can do a couple of different things. So we're gonna instead of create backup, we're gonna restore from archive. This point, we're gonna come and locate our our basic um, desktop right here. So we're gonna go to desktop, and then we're gonna see the batching project that I just did. And then what we're going to do is change the primary host. We're going to change the primary host to this computer right here. And then all we're going to do is hit restore. So all I'm doing is changing the name where the computer is going to be hosted. And now I'm restoring the whole application uh, rather than having to do that uh, the old way and having to go back and rebuild a bunch of things. The system is actually rebuilding this stuff for me. So again, the the software is getting a lot smarter and a lot uh, more user friendly as time goes on, as software should, right? So when it comes to that, it says we have restored successfully. Okay, so now we can close this down and we can open up our Factory Talk View Studio. We're going to go to our uh, distributed uh, network distributed, right, right, right here. We're going to open that application up and verify that everything is there. Okay, so we're just going to verify that all our graphics are going to be there. We're going to verify. So now we're right here. This is the batching station project. This is the same project you've seen me make before. Um, I built it on Factory Talk uh, 10, and this does say the application will be converted to uh, the site edition uh, 12. I'm completely fine with that. That's actually what we're trying to do. We're trying to convert it from Factory Talk 10 to Factory Talk 12. So this going this may take a little bit of time. Uh, again, it's not a big application that I built, so it shouldn't take too terribly long. But again, when it comes down to it, um, just go ahead and make sure you follow the steps that do pop up. Right? It's very simple, very easy to use. They've they've actually kind of streamlined the process for us. You know, it made it a lot easier for us to back up our HMI applications and restore them. So uh, just keep in mind, uh, we're going to go ahead and in the process and the system's loading everything right now. So we're going to double check though to make sure we have all of our graphics, or all of our shortcuts, HMI shortcuts, and everything that we have. Right now, you can currently see how easy the process has been. I think you can. If you've seen the other videos where I've made and uh, made of uh, HMI backup or stored HMI backup, this seems a lot easier to use. Um, again, when it first at first glance, you you know, one could think to always do your your normal HMI backups as well alongside of this. So you have like a double redundancy. You would have both of these. You would have this one, and then you would also have the original HMI backup that you normally would do. So you could restore both of those in the in the chance of actually not having any you know not ha one if one were to fail or something like that okay so this is just saying that i'm using legacy tag database which is perfectly fine um we're going to actually convert that as well but again when it comes down to it we just want to make sure our applications are here and our applications are working so again it's saving all my graphics because that's what it does when it actually changes from Factory Talk 12 or Factory Talk 10 to Factory Talk 12. So you're going to have to basically save originally when you're converting, you're importing all of that, all of your graphics in right now. So that's all what that's what this process is doing right now, just to kind of give you a rough example of what to expect and what to what you're going to see, right? All right, so this is just about done. And we should be at the point where we're going to check our displays, make sure everything is there, uh, make sure our data server RS Links is there. So let's check our displays and let this open up. All right, so our displays are in there. You can see that. We can go over here and open up our main controls. You can see the same exact screen that's over here, right here, is right here. Okay, so we have our displays. 
All right, so now we've come in and done that. Let's go over here to the, uh, the data server, which is going to be my factory talk links. I'm gonna open that up just to make sure that I still have my shortcuts, okay? And I do still have my shortcuts that I had before. Now I may have to come in here and repoint my shortcuts to where they used to be, just like we did on our old HMI backups, but that's not a big deal when it comes to everything you have to do to restore an HMI application. So again, when it comes down to it, just make sure you double check stuff like this and, and do your due diligence to make sure you set the, the, the shortcuts again. Like all my shortcuts right here are not short, uh, set. And if you look at my other application, my HMI shortcuts have already been set. So right here, they know where they're going, right? They know where they're going. Over here, they do not know where they're going, so we're gonna, we would have to make a connection and obviously come over here and connect them, right? No big deal, our standard process on how to do that. So hopefully you've seen a new way to do that using the Factory Talk Studio. Um, this, uh, let's pull this up back up real quick. The Factory Talk uh, View Site Edition Application Manager. Again, it's called Application Manager on Factory Talk 10 and Factory Talk View Site Edition uh, Application Manager on Factory Talk 12 and above. So just keep that in mind, and hopefully, this was a helpful video and another tool you can use to back up your HMI applications. Me personally, I still use both of the ways, the ways I originally built or originally backed up my HMI application. Now I use this as well as a double redundancy. So you always want to have a sense of security when you're backing up your HMI applications, especially with site additions. So you have uh, you know a, a way to back up your applications, a way to restore them if something were to happen. Again, file structure and having the proper files when something goes down, like you lose a server or you have a computer fail or let's just say you're upgrading. Um, it, there's a ton of reasons why you want to have HMI backups, but again, when it comes up to it, having the double redundancy behind you, as far as like having an HMI backup using the Factory Talk View uh, SE Application Manager and the normal way we, we actually back up the H HMI applications, again, you just have a better applicate. You have a better sense of security when it comes to having your files that you need. Um, so when it comes to it, hopefully that was helpful and we'll see you guys on the next one.